Good day everyone, welcome to SDR Media. This is our YouTube channel. And I hope that if you're new here, that you would subscribe so you can get our updated videos that we will be bringing to the table regarding all things that are happening in this world that are beneficial for every single soul to understand what is going on because it is a fact that this world is being tossed to and fro and people are running around confused and listening to all sorts of lies that are spewed out through all these instruments that Satan is using today even on YouTube. You got to be careful of what you're listening to on YouTube and in every uh, organization or institution or what have you that's going on in the world. You got to be careful. It, it, if it does not line up with scripture, if it does not line up with scripture and historical evidence, then toss it out. Okay? And we got to be careful what people are saying about a history and such because as I am investigating all these secret societies and what have you, when they do not line up with the simple fact and the principle that all evil roads lead to Rome, okay, if they don't line up with that and they start sending us off into another path, then I know that, hey, I'm putting this down. It's not even worth reading. So as I continue to investigate these societies and the things that are going on in the world and lining it up with Scripture, the King James Bible, and with the discernment of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to bring to you all the truth and the facts that I can possibly bring. And so I have a dandy of a video for you today in respects to understanding America's history and some of the societies that had sprung up in that time or the Jesuits taking over these societies, over these societies that um, were okay maybe, but eventually grew into something very cold and wicked and what have you. So as we continue to journey down the road of history regarding these societies, um, today, this video is going to talk about and explain and expose uh, the Ku Klux Klan. So, peace. As we know, history shows how the true Christians fled to America to escape religious persecution that was provided by the Roman Catholic Church, who is the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth, who would seek to kill God's children which the book of Revelation chapter 17 expounds on, which is the institution that was clearly bent on the church of God's destruction and being crushed like venomous snakes for being heretics. Rome continued to press forward like a flood and went to America to destroy her from within. As Protestant America was growing in number and in power, they tried to accomplish their work through these secret societies and many prominent men who we thought were true to America's cause were not. Rome was in no wise ready to give up her seat and her power over the world, which this dragon, Satan, gave to her. And so she had infiltrated all walks of life and even created more societies to fulfill her purpose. History shows how the papacy had evil men already hard at work in destroying America. The General of President Washington, Mr. Lafayette, had clearly seen the works of Rome's secret society starting to destroy America from within. The General Lafayette, under President George Washington, had stated the following, If the liberties of the American people are ever destroyed, they will fall by the hand of the Roman Catholic cult clergy. The Jesuits had their military fingers in every branch of America in her beginning, with the likes of many ruthless men. But there is one who we are going to introduce to you today who did such an evil work against America, which many Americans have praised this man till this day. This man's work had led America down the path of division through racism. The man infiltrated and destroyed much of what America was trying to become, a Christian nation after the Creator's heart. Meet Albert Pike, who is still standing in the heart of Washington, D.C., where there is a large statue and monument honoring one of the founders of the Ku Klux Klan. The statue is a tribute to the influence of Pike's organization. Inscribed on the base of this statue are the words, Poet, the terrorist anthem of the KKK, was his most famous literary work, and jurist he was called the KKK's chief judiciary officer 
and reputedly wrote the organization manual for the terrorist anti-black movement after the U.S. Civil War. It has power in the executive branch and the Congress, and it is decisive in the courts. It has great power in all branches of law enforcement and the military. Albert Pike was the Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan in Arkansas. Albert Pike was also a Luciferian, ex-Confederate general who infiltrated that army for the Antichrist Pope and the most powerful Freemason in North America and was a member of the first Ku Klux Klan, which he helped this evil creation come to existence in 1866, which he had murdered countless people and caused a division to rise up in America that is still existing today between the many whites and blacks, which would have never happened if Rome would have kept their evil fingers out of America. Pike was also known as a secret Jesuit coagitator and murderer of white Protestantism and was an organizer for the KKK with Nathan Bedford Forrest. Forrest appointed him Grand Dragon of the region. With the Klan disband for Forrest in 1869 after the ratification of the papal pope, the modern day office of Caesar had sent forth the 14th Amendment of 1868, which Pike maintained ties with the existing Klansmen while he remained a Masonic brother to his contemporary occultist, Karl Marx. Pike's new KKK would be used by the order to bring forth the armies of Rome in secrecy and strengthen his powers in America and weaken Protestantism and at the same time would spread hatred between whites and blacks in both the North and the South with their murderous lynchings against the whites and the blacks. It is these secret societies of Rome that spawned all these evils that would create a legitimate grievance necessary for America to be divided and to be conquered, which we can see happening today that their plans have been successful. This movement would also later launch its Masonic civil rights movement intended to bring about its racial program for the 20th century, the amalgamation of both races proposed to destroy white Anglo-Saxon Protestantism and North America. The KKK order had created grievances whereby the Protestants of the South were drawn into the Civil War, which they were annihilated and were betrayed by leaders beholden to the fear of death by Masonic, oath-bound masters secretly subordinate to the Jesuit general who is the military for the Pope unto this day. After the failed war of the Southern Independence, fought by the white Protestant people of the South, the victorious Jesuits finished erecting two of their despicable idols in celebration of the black Pope's military victory, newly created 14th Amendment American Empire. These despicable monuments, these idols of the Roman Catholic Church was placed in America, which is called the Washington Monument, 1885, and the Statue of Liberty, 1886, which has everything to do with Satanism, and Satan being that woman, that light bearer, that victor over America. The Statue of Liberty had been designed by the Roman Catholic French Freemason, Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, and formally received by the Jesuit ruler, Mayor of New York, Knight of Malta, William R. Grace. And if there is any doubts regarding the Ku Klux Klan not being an invention of the Roman Catholic Church to destroy America and white Protestant America and the blacks and causing the division between the races to annihilate this union in America that was taking place to develop America as a Christian nation, take a look at some of these pictures which clearly shows the connection between the Roman Catholic Church and the Ku Klux Klan. Peace.